Ask Reddit by Austin Makes Stuff. Has anyone ever been to a wedding where someone actually objected, and if so, how did that go? I wasn't there so this is a second hand story, and took place shortly after the wedding, but at the reception, no one could find the groom, until they found him out in the limo having sex with one of the bridesmaids. The bride went back into the reception, stopped the band, took the microphone and told everyone there what just happened, naming the bridesmaid, and said the wedding would be annulled and all gifts would be returned. She totally took charge of the situation, but damn. Wow, to take charge of the situation that well at a moment's notice is pretty impressive. I wonder if she had an inkling that he was a cheater, and just faced it at that moment. Went to a wedding where they skipped that part because the bride's adult daughter was planning to object. How was this known? Had she pre-announced her intention, or was she just that kind of person and people had accurately predicted it? My husband's first marriage. The brother of the bride stood up and said to my husband say no, you can still be happy. They went through with the marriage, wound up divorcing with a messy breakup. Brother-in-law is still best friends with my husband, as far as he's concerned he gained a brother and lost a sister and is better off for it, and he never lets him forget the fact that he was right and he should have bailed lol. Edited for clarification. Oh, damn, I assumed he was addressing the bride. That certainly puts a different spin on the story, lol. I worked a wedding where one of the moms objected, but I think the groom knew that the parent was going to say something, so they just responded with, oh sit down, parent's name, we knew you didn't like this a year ago and clearly we're not going to change our minds today, the wedding continued like nothing happened, but the mom was low-key shunned and people avoided her at the reception. Attended a wedding where the minister said something along the lines of if anyone here objects to this marriage, you can keep your mouth shut. Today is not about you. The wedding was at the bride's house. They had thought out almost every detail, except one. When the officiant got to the speak now or forever hold your peace part, the cuckoo clock expressed his opinion. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. It was a full 15 minutes before the ceremony could continue without everyone busting out laughing. My auntie's fiancé was already married, lady stood up waving marriage cert, so wedding didn't go ahead. The reception was on a long boat so we still went to that. The fiancé went back to home country to sort it out and never came back. Oh yikes. So they really did have a legal reason to object. Not a wedding, but at a funeral someone objected the death. At my uncle's funeral, his ex-wife and a local church, cult, leader tried to raise him from the dead. We were all sitting there like normal people at a normal funeral and she walks up to the casket and starts yelling. James Lester, raise up I didn't know she was there or I would have prepared myself for shenanigans. Also I didn't know my uncle's middle name was Lester, so please imagine the confusion. So she and the cult leader are literally yelling at my uncle's body. Not surprisingly, my uncle refused to resurrect himself. They were escorted out. I've actually never told this story because it makes my family look insane. I love the idea that he refused to resurrect. Like it was totally doable he just chose not to. I was at a small ceremony indoors, maybe 30 people tops listening. When the minister asked for any objections, a picture of the bride's dead grandmother that was hanging on the wall fell to the ground with a loud thump. We looked at each other but the minister finished anyway. Divorced within a year. This is one of my favorite ones so far. I objected. I took giving my sister away literally. I wasn't the brightest three year old. Or what? So wholesome. I love this. A woman, in her 20s at the time, objected to her mom marrying my uncle. So she started yelling, mom don't marry him during the ceremony. The ceremony proceeded and some family on the mom's side lead the daughter away to quit interrupting. I don't blame her my uncle was lying, lazy bastard. The marriage didn't last. 
I read the first bit as her mom marrying her uncle, and was deeply concerned. In my cousin's wedding her friend said I object because she was not invited to the wedding. She was kicked out of the wedding. Why was she not invited if she was a friend of the bride? And why was she there anyways? I went to a wedding where the best man was replaced a week before because he banged the bride. But the wedding still went ahead just with a different best man. They are divorced now. This is only tangentially related, but I had a friend I knew for like 3 months who told me at the wedding I was the maid of honor. Like the wedding was starting I was pushed to the front. I was chosen over her own sisters. The whole wedding was that kind of chaos. It was the best wedding I've ever been to. I went to a Catholic wedding where, when the priest asked this question, one of the groomsmen did a very loud, long, throat clearing, which got everyone laughing. Everyone except for the bride's elderly Italian grandmother who marched out of her seat and angrily hit the groomsman with her handbag and shouted at him in Italian. That just sounds like excellent entertainment. I used to make wedding videos. Did one at an outdoor wedding spot high on one side of a valley. It had rained earlier in the day but the storms had cleared and the wedding could continue. During the vows I don't touch the camera, just step back and let it run. So I'm spaced out waiting for the vows to finish and notice a radio tower far across the valley. Suddenly lightning hits the radio tower. I had enough time to think boy when the thunder gets here it'll probably loud. I also had enough time to clue in that the minister was saying if anyone objects to this union let him speak now or forever, Keblum. Total silence in the venue. Preacher takes a second to look around and make sure everybody is alright, on one has been smoked. Well that's never happened before. A fake they are still married, that was 10 years or more ago. God fucking objected. I was at one where the groom thanked the bride's ex for dying as his loss was my game. Didn't help the sons of his bride and ex were in attendance. Holy crap. Please tell me she divorced him. Not quite the question as asked, but too funny to not share. Priest, any objections? Father of the bride, lets out the hardest, loudest, most complex sounding sneeze I've ever heard in my life, completely with involuntarily saying a chuo. Mother of the bride, hammered on champagne, for fuck's sake, Jerry. It took a good 5 minutes for everyone to regain their composure. Nice, Jerry. I sneezed. Oh I'm not allowed to sneeze. I don't know if it's a UK thing or even just a one specific church thing but I was told by the priest in a rehearsal that if someone objects, even as a joke, the priest is required to pause the ceremony and talk to the objector alone to discuss their concerns and decide if they have a valid objection. Like it's not a fun jokey moment, it's a real legal part of the ceremony. He also said it used to be custom that if you raised an invalid objection you then had to pay for the wedding. So hypothetically someone could have objected at a royal wedding via loudspeaker or even being at the church and they would have had to follow protocol while on air. At his rehearsal dinner a co-worker's mother toast included that his soon to be wife was a damn dirty whore who wasn't good enough for her son. Folks not happy, video ended so didn't see the whole thing. At wedding which I attended his mom started to say something at the speak now part but was silenced by her daughter. Mom left and didn't see the rest of the ceremony. Everything about that poor guy was drama. My friend's mill made a speech at the wedding which included now y'all can go have sex all night. You ain't gotta wait no more. You ain't gotta sweet talk her no more. Baby boy, you can just take her up whenever you like in almost the most jealous tone I have ever heard. It was unsettlingly bizarre. She didn't object to the marriage, but we all objected to her. Also before anyone assumed she was drunk, it was a dry wedding. Edit, I'm aware that dry weddings and drinking aren't mutually exclusive. The woman was not drunk, she's just a gross person. Oldie but a goodie, this happened back in the 70s, 
This was shared to her by the guy who married my parents. It went something like this. Does anyone object to this union? I do. That's my husband. So they paused the wedding. The bride, groom and the woman objecting went into a small room. The woman who objected provided documentation showing the groom was still legally her husband. Apparently the couple had started divorce proceedings sometime earlier but never finished. The wedding was cancelled and everyone sent home. Finally, someone used the moment to object in a correct way. A relative visited one ceremony where it was asked if anyone objects, and the groom decided it's a good time for a joke and said I do. The lady who was going to marry the couple just turned and left. They had to go through all the paperwork again and change the date. Got married, divorced in like 3 years if I remember correctly. There's a video going around where the wife objected as a joke and shit got real serious, real fast. Shout out to the link if anybody has it. Kind of. My uncle was getting married. Small, just a handful of family and a minister. I was videotaping. My grandmother was not into it at all. With each line spoken by the minister, she had a cutting, sarcastic response. I could not believe it. It was so unlike her. When that part came up, she said I object. But does it really matter? They are going to, to do it anyway. The minister just ignored her and proceeded, business as usual. They were divorced within a year. Wish I had a copy. Grandma called it I guess. A friend of mine has a band that plays lots of weddings and other parties. They were hired for a birthday party that turned out to be a surprise wedding. The guy surprised his GF with a proposal and wanted to have a wedding ceremony then and there. She said no and left. Was the guy's name Gaston? Was not a BFF. One of the groom's men thought it would be funny to raise an objection. He did not understand that, by law, all proceedings had to be stopped and investigated, meaning the officiant had to take him aside to question him. He had the audacity to keep the joke going until the officiant said that he would not continue and the wedding would be called off. Both sets of parents and multiple guests also had to be questioned to confirm the objection was uncalled for. It took over an hour. The wedding scheduled after was set back 30 minutes their guests started arriving while all this was going on. It was a huge mess. Dude thought it was hilarious. I clocked him with my fancy, died special for the day shoe the minute the, shortened, photo shoot was over. He was asked to not attend the reception. Bride and amp, groom feared for his safety after I whacked him. They dropped him as a. Also note, this situation began the new tradition in my family of using Quaker self-uniting. Available in Pennsylvania, marriage licenses and having a loved one officiate at the ceremony. It basically means that the couple is married the moment they and their witnesses sign and mail their license to the municipality. They are already married when the ceremony takes place. The question of an objection is not a part of the ceremony. Edit, changed a word for clarity. Yes, at my cousin's. The bride's ex showed up and when he stood up to object my uncles grabbed him and bum rushed him out of the church and gave him a tune up in the parking lot. Catholic wedding, of course. Tune up in the parking lot, I wasn't expecting to laugh out loud this early in the day. Thanks, pally. Groom found out that bride was cheating two days before the wedding day. He spilled the beans while exchanging the vows. Damn. That's some TV show level shit. This will sound absolutely stupid but when I was a kid, my deeply religious aunt had her wedding at a local church. During the objecting part, lightning struck very near the church. I remember to this day how the following thunder was so loud, that the fancy windows of the church started rattling. Well. The timing of the strike was very unfortunate for my uncle because my aunt took this as a sign of a god objecting to her marriage and called the wedding off on the spot. Needless to say, they married on the same day year later and this time without objection from a god. They are still married to this day. I have a new answer to what would you do if you were god for a day? 
not exactly an objection but the wedding was on a boat, no one could leave, and the groom was Jewish and marrying a Mexican Catholic woman. The groom neglected to tell his family it was a full Catholic wedding and the groom's family stood up and pitched a fit when they realized the groom was going to take communion. The uncle who sponsored his bar mitzvah stood up and announced that the groom was a disgrace to the family and walked downstairs. The reception was a shichow. Oh, you don't get to leave without stories from that reception. My mum told me she was going to pay an old boyfriend to stand up and object at my wedding. She didn't in the end but I did cast a quick look around in the church before walking down the aisle. My mother-in-law actually brought my wife sex to our wedding in hopes that my wife would see him and leave me. She didn't really care other than being mad at her mom. I talked to the guy after the wedding and thanked him for coming, just to be polite. He told me that I wasn't good enough, this was a message my mill had sent a number of times so it didn't really catch me off guard. I grabbed and shook his hand, smiled, and I told him he was a fucking creep for coming uninvited to a wedding of his ex from 10 years ago. Then I invited him to enjoy some refreshments during the cocktail hour and walked away. My wife gets mad about the not good enough comment and has him and her mother removed from the reception. He and my mill are still close and she still invites him over on major holidays. I'm younger than my wife by 3.5 years and my first impression of the guy was hearing him ask my Phil how. The mom of one of the bridesmaids got up and yelled yeah I object, you fucking stole him from her while pointing at the bride. I've known the groom for a long time and by proxy the bride. I am still very good friends with them. I have never seen her more infuriated than at that moment. The bridesmaid got up from her chair and was like I'm so, so sorry. Let me get her out of here. The bridesmaid and the bride's stepfather escorted the woman out of the wedding and it continued. Oh yeah I guess you're right ex-girlfriend's mother, I'll marry your daughter now if you like.